Oh, yeah. That was a uh, very close set. Yeah, that was so back and forth. One thing we were really focusing on was like the swing of momentum between each player. It felt like sometimes you were in control, sometimes he was in control, and it went back and forth. And once you, each player had momentum, the other one had to fear for their lives. What do you think about that? Yeah, I guess for both of our characters, their advantage stage is just insane. So any opening and there's just wild swings. But it, it also helped like knowing that even if I fell behind, I could always make a comeback. It would only take one or two openings. Right, yeah, that rock solid mental. I mean, no, it. I mean, I mean, I, maybe, maybe this comes from playing Wario. You know that you're never out. You know. Oh yeah, that's the Wario difference, I guess. Yeah, I think another thing that I thought was really interesting too was David spent all day experting people. Like everyone just died at seventy or so against him, but you managed to really never let that happen to you. What was kind of your thought process to avoid a lot of those really lethal edge guards he had been going for previously? Well, so a lot of people, there's like a misconception that Junior's recovery is bad, and it's like it's really not. Right. But it's like he has so many different mix-ups he can do, and all, what I tried to do is I just went high as much as possible, uh, in order to avoid like I didn't want to get like a beat or something out of my upbeat. Right. Yeah. Because I saw that happen a few times and stuff. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I was able to go high and like armor. I can arm kind of armor through a lot of the aerials. Yeah. Like right. even even if I would get hit sometimes, I. I would still live, which is what matters, I guess. So. Right, yeah. I felt like usually uh, David was like covering a lot of high recoveries in PK Fire, but you were doing a really good job just going over them, and sometimes he was just punishing him for going through it. Oh, yeah. Junior side B is very good for that. You yeah. Can, uh, punish projectiles very quickly. I always thought that move was like kind of just like worse minecart. I might have my mind changed. I mean, minecart is very good, so I don't, I don't know if I would say it's better. But... I mean, both kill it like in 90, so. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, what is isn't a command grab. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and who would win? A military-grade war machine designed for a prince of a kingdom or five iron ingots in a U? Well, to be fair, it's, it's Junior's like a, like a 10-year-old, so yeah, maybe yeah. he should have designed a command grab into it. But... Yeah, and funnily enough, that's the age of the average Steve player. Anyways. Yeah, sure. But, um, yeah, great job, Eric. Thanks. Play it out of your mind. I mean, you also kind of destroyed the whole rest of the bracket. Can't lie, but great oh, job, man. Thank you. The reigning king. All right, well, uh, not really. I guess it's a fun bracket, and I'm excited for the rest of the semester. Yeah, this has been a great set, great, yeah. great tournament. It's going to be an amazing semester. So uh, see you all later, and uh, the game.